We're heading into Terrace, BC, one of my favorite spots in, in all of British Columbia, actually all of the world to fish. It's an absolute fishing paradise. Beautiful towering coastal mountains and endless rivers to choose from. And I'll be joining Gil McKean of West Coast Fishing Adventures, and we're gonna be heading into Steelhead Boot Camp. Steelhead Boot Camp is a remote camp that Gil and his crew sets up right along the river banks of some of the best steelhead fishing in the world. And, you're in there for four to five days, living in canvas tents, but it truly is a, a steelheading paradise. And it's something that I can't wait to do. And, and I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. Quick flight from Vancouver, about an hour and 15 minutes, hopped off the plane and uh, walked out. Gil met me at the airport and uh, it was good to kind of reunite with him and, and catch up. Uh, you know, we're going into a spot here that's kind of a special place to me. The last time I fished, it was 10 years ago with uh, two good friends of mine, and we had uh, an epic day on the river. Some big fish in there where we went, and um, I've been thinking about this place ever since we left that day. So to have a chance now to go back in is, uh, is very, very exciting. And so we got back to the lodge here, Gill's place, had a wonderful meal, went over the game plan for the week, and uh, got some gear ready. So we're ready to rock when we hit the river tomorrow. We don't want to be wasting too much time prepping when we're at the camp. We want to be uh, waiters on and, and let, let's go. I've caught more steelhead with yarn, I think, than I've caught with feathers or Have plastics you? or anything. Yeah. Okay, well, we got a good, we got a yep. good uh, assortment here, variety. Some gooey bobs too, but a lot of different worm colors, different shades of pink, different sizes. I think there's enough there. We got a whole arsenal here. Yeah. When you're using row, you want to have the the line just kind of pinch the skein in there so it holds the eggs loosely, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's say you're not using row, it's gonna, it's just gonna fall out. It's not going to hold it there. When you when you tighten that loop up, once that yarn is in there, you slide that right it up tight. It's pinched like in there, and it's pinched in tight. Yeah. And there is no way that that's going to come out of there. Gil and I have talked for many years about heading into Steelhead Boot Camp, and I am super excited about getting in there. You know, most people might think you're, you're roughing it, but to a, a passionate steelheader or angler, I mean, this is paradise. You, you're sleeping on cots. You're right along the river, you can hear the water running. You roll out of bed and you can be fishing within minutes. And uh, I don't know if there's uh, a better option out there for fishing for steelhead. Welcome to paradise, my friend. How's she looking, the river? <laughs> Mint? <laughs> yeah. It's looking beauty. Not too many places, you can just pull up, yeah. set up shop, fish right out front. Yeah. This is not the Hyatt or the Rogue Regency, but I mean, I didn't get the contract to build one in here, so. <laughs> Welcome to Steelhead Boot Camp. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Woohoo. Uh, right Looking on the nice. riverbank, buddy. And cozy. Yeah. A lot of signatures in here. Yours is gonna be on here when you leave. Awesome. We've got some uh, Japanese writing here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Uh, Norwegians over here, Norway. And also this guy lived in Calgary, wow. the uh, Tor Gunner. Yeah. Good, uh, good keepsake, eh? Yeah, yeah. Maybe one day I'll, uh, I'll take this and just cut little pieces of it, and I'll frame it and put it on my wall. You know, yeah. kind of be a neat thing. Well, let's go out and uh, let's see what we can find here. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a beautiful day, man. And um, it's gorgeous. It's going to be some beautiful, fresh spring run steelhead. You get that thing right. Well, you got I don't her. know if it's gonna work though. It's already coming out. Well, that's not my problem. It's <laughs> one. <laughs> I'll, you gonna land my fish for me or what? <laughs> <laughs> it's screaming, screaming, come fish me. It says, throw a big fat worm in my face. <laughs> Typically, they're like right in there. 
and, and you'll see them often, quite often, you'll see them kind of roll as they're moving up and after the tides come in, you'll see them here, so. And then I'll just go up in the head and I'll start working my way down behind you. <laughs> Seriously, look at, the, look at the view around here. Is it spectacular oh, or what? It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, let's get at her, buddy. All right. To the best man. Have Hopefully you're coming water. to land my fish. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll never hear the end of it. But I won't be surprised either, okay. so. We traveled up river today and hit a couple pools and and uh, we didn't have any luck uh, getting into any fish today but just knowing where we are and the anticipation the excitement knowing that the very next cast can be that 20 pound steelhead is uh you know that that's what keeps the juices flowing and you know eventually you put the time and you got to work for it it's going to happen and uh anybody who's who fishes and fishes for steelhead knows that this is a fish that you have to work to catch. They're not the fish of 10,000 casts for a reason. I mean, uh, and I think that's why guys that fish for steelhead appreciate the fishery so much because they know the days they've put in, the miles they've logged, the casts they've made. And, you know, sometimes you can go a couple weeks without hooking a fish. But where we are, this is kind of like the steelhead mecca and the opportunity to hook into multiple fish on a daily basis is real. We're looking forward to, to getting, out, getting out there first thing in the morning and um, putting our time in and having it pay off. Oh, yep. there he is. Yep. Right <laughs> behind that rock. That's oh, what we're I talking knew, about. I had a little tap right before that. Oh, he's coming up. Yeah. Right before that, I felt something. Oh, yeah, baby. He, had, he doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Nope. He's going to take off in a second here. <laughs> okay, my, my heart's pumping, bud. <laughs> like, just pumping. He doesn't even really know what's going on yet. Put a little one. more pressure on him there. A little more? Yep. Really? Let him know you're there, yeah. Lean into him? Yep. All right. Ooh, oh, that's nice. Yeah. He's thick, eh? Yeah. Nice back on him, yeah. So you called it, you know, this area, nice yeah. slot right here, hey? Yeah. Good stretch. This is the money. Took some pretty good shoulders on him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, you know, a medium-sized buck. Maybe 10 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna take off, of course. Yeah, there we go. I knew that was gonna go. He might be eight pounds, man. <laughs> Seriously. That was awesome. It's been a while <laughs> since I've landed a steelhead. Uh, Good job. About 20 minutes into the first morning here, right? Yep. Yeah, that was a beautiful fish, a yep. nice buck. Yep. Hey, a little bit of color in him, but strong fish. Getting like a little, uh, little rosy. And you think he's maybe eight, 10 pounds in maybe there. Maybe eight, yep. Yeah, and then- Maybe I mean, six even. With the potential. But... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely eight, maybe 10. <laughs> but uh, man, it's just uh, so much excitement, adrenaline, yep. and knowing there's fish two, three times that size in yeah. here is just, that's a mind ball. That's hard to believe, isn't it? It's coming right at us. Oh my God, my heart is racing. That is a big fish right here. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be a battle. That's a fresh chrome fish right from the sea. He just flashed sideways. Ooh! All right, crank down on him now. He's coming towards you. Pumping real, man. Pumping real. Coming right at you. He's coming sideways, eh? Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is what Steelhead are known for right here, buddy. Come on, buddy. We're just gonna take your picture, let you go. Ooh, that's a nice sight. Got him? Yep. <laughs> that beautiful female. Wow. 
That's my biggest deal. I think that's my biggest deal. Put your, put your hand under her belly. That, that one with your watch on, and then and then and then come back here. Ready? Yeah. One, three. Yeah. And keep her head under the water. Yeah. Just, just, just. Wow, that's, that's a run. beautiful fish, man. Steelhead fish in that terrace. Beautiful BC. West Coast fishing, Gil McKean. Let me get a shot of you, buddy. Mandy McKean. Man, seriously, like, oh, I feel complete, Gil. She's ready. That's the best feeling right there. Look at that. <laughs> Nicely done, my oh friend. My God. <laughs> that was awesome, man. <laughs> man, when that thing hit that. Oh, yeah. And then she rolled. Oh, yeah. Big head shake. Of my snag, then no. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. roll. Yeah, I come up and just stood on oh, his tail. Oh, man. That's yeah. awesome. But that's what it's all about, my friend. Like, honestly, like, my heart was at 180 the whole time. And we're lonely today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I haven't seen another person no. all day. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> we had an awesome day today fishing. I mean, for steelhead, we got into a lot of fish. Some big, beautiful steelhead today. And it just reinforced to me that this river holds monstrous steelhead. And, and I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. I think the reason why I enjoy steelhead fishing so much is, is it's hard and it, it's challenging. I, I think anytime you, you do something that is easy and, and uh, you, know, you don't have to work at, you don't appreciate it as much. So with steelhead fishing, there's a level of frustration that, that builds at times. And uh, you know, I, I think there's moments when you question yourself, you're asking yourself if you're doing the right thing. And when you do get into a fish, it's, it's, it's electric. And when you have the opportunity to, to hook multiple, like we've been doing, it's the absolute ultimate. I mean, it, it doesn't get any better, but again, it comes back to appreciating the good days because there are days when you go an entire day and maybe make a thousand casts when you, when you don't touch a fish. There was a fish. Yeah. I, I just Hammer saw him flash. Time. You got him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just saw him flash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, there we go. That a boy, yo. Oh, what a beauty. Oh, man. <laughs> right behind you, Mo. Oh, there she comes, she's coming down here now. Looks like a buck, actually. Yeah, I think it is hey? a buck. It is a buck. It is a buck. Like a chrome buck. Yeah, it's, un it's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Take a knee, hand under the belly, buddy. Yeah. And just leave him in the water. Got him. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> nice fish, man. Oh, that's beautiful. Great job. <laughs> okay, release. That a boy. Oh, he's ready to go. Whoa, a little. Woo. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. That was awesome fish, hey. dude. Seriously. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a fish. Yep. Go on. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my God, look at that fish. <laughs> Did you see it? Oh yeah. It's a monster. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. I man. know. Hey? You can see when it jumped. Oh boy. Put a little more pressure on. Yeah. Just let her know you're there. Oh my. Oh yeah. Jeez, that thing's head shaking. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on, buddy. This, one's a, this is a healthy fish, man. This is a big, it's big a girl. thick fish. Yeah. Oh, boy. Here we go, here we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Amazing how camouflaged they are. Oh, you can't even see it right there. Yeah, it's right here, yeah. Man, these fish are so strong. Come on. Yeah, he gives you a lot of respect for them, I can tell you that. It's unbelievable. 
Just got a little bit of rosy on him, and he's got a light, light stripe starting. And he's not happy. Nope. I always love seeing their tails come out. Have a knee, buddy. Pull some mine off. Man, that's a strong fish, man. Like when that fish jumped, I mean, I, I did think it was a bigger fish, but this goes to show you, I mean, you just don't know. I mean, this, yeah. I mean, that's your prototypical male right there. Yeah. He just, all right, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, no harm done, my friend. <laughs> well Man, done. It's just like every time I'm just like a little kid. <laughs> I mean, it's just like people ask me a lot of times, like, why do you like fishing so much? I tell them like, you know, played hockey for a few years and yeah. pretty pretty good job to have, you know. Yeah. But uh, like this is my kind of adrenaline replacement. Yeah. It's just the anticipation when that float goes down, what do you have? And now your heart just goes, like I said earlier, both from, you know, resting to cardiac. <laughs> <laughs> Full of rest. Oh yeah. It was yeah. awesome. Adrenaline rush. Oh yeah. You can't replace that. I mean, there's Oof. nothing, you know, yeah. It's incredible. Spectacular, man. Yeah. Well, I think we still have a, a little bit more water to are, fish. Are you going to let me catch one now? Or? Well, you know, what you got to do here <laughs> is... <laughs> where do they sit in here anyway, Brendan? <laughs> right where you told me. <laughs> it don't get any better than this. Is this magic or what? Atta boy. Oh, oh, oh. a nice one, eh? <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Look at that. Look at the colors, Beautiful huh? Buck. Through the old belly and there you go. Nice fish. Nice fish, buddy. Is that awesome or what? I'm just gonna pull that hook out right there. That's thick, healthy fish again, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's on, eh? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, brother. Look at that. How do you beat a day like that? <laughs> right on. Northern British Columbia with West Coast Fishing Adventures. Taking us to the promised land. Look at that. All right, buddy. Yep. Thanks for the show, buddy. Oh, he's healthy. He's yeah. ready. Look at him. <laughs> Woo -hoo. He says, I'm done with you boys. <laughs> Thanks, nice man. job, buddy. Yeah. I could hear you hooting and hauling <laughs> from around the corner. There you go. Yep. 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 Woohoo! Beauty. That is an absolute chrome bullet, buddy. That was unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't really? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god, he's big. <laughs> Did you see that fish? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a monster. And just a solid bar of chrome, too. He's coming right back at us now. Yep. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh. Oh. Hey, he's a heavy fish. Oh, yeah, no, that's a that's a big, fat, fresh, native steel head you got on there, buddy. I'm trying to turn it, look at it like I can't even turn it. <laughs> Come on. Dude, this is, this might, this is, that's, that's pushing the 20. <laughs> like, that is. Oh, that is pretty, buddy. There we go. You ready? Yeah, you I got, got it. it. Yeah. Yep, yeah. I got her. Okay. Ready? <laughs> oh. That drink? Yep. I couldn't hold her. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what a way to finish a day. Oh, dude, buddy. Dude, that's my biggest deal. I'm not even close. Yeah. Well, hey. What a day. Hey? What do you got to say, Brennan? Best day, best day on the river I've ever had. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, like that's special, man. Yeah.
When I look back on this trip up in Terrace, it was, it was everything I could ever imagine and dream this steelhead trip would be. It was absolutely incredible from the time we drove in to the time we left. And uh, it's, it's, it's something I'll remember the rest of my life and something that, um, that any passionate angler should have the chance to experience. Right from the time you step foot out of camp, I mean, there's fishable water right in front, so it, the very first cast you make, you have the potential to catch a fish. People that fish quite a bit understand that these fish uh, can be very elusive and you got to put your time in, but fishing with Gill and, and West Coast Fishing is, Gill has put in thousands, hundreds, thousands of hours combing these rivers, 23 years out on these river systems here around Terrace. So when you get to a spot with him, you listen to what he says because he knows where the fish are and you're getting legitimate chances uh, around every bend to catch a fish because he knows where they are. And every fish is different. Steelhead are unpredictable. Once you think you've got it figured out, you realize you're wrong because every day is a different day and a unique day on the water. When that first fish is on, you know, it's just the initial take and then that fish starts screaming line off your reel and it's on. So now it's okay that you got the hook up. Now the work begins, you gotta get that fish to hand. So uh, to finally get that fish in and you see it up close and get a nice little picture and then release that fish and see it swim away. I mean, those are the things, those are the moments and, and the memories that are imprinted in your mind forever.